let's quickly have a look at a purchase order that I have created a while ago and the integration with other modules so we go to display purchase order ME23N there we go and here we have the purchase order that I want to show you and immediately you show the tab of the confirmations that actually gives the indication here that a shipping notification is required well the shipping notification is the inbound delivery and you see the number here so let's double click on it and here the is the inbound delivery which is a shipment notification you see the put away quantity is the same as the delivery quantity over there that means that the put away status is completely put away and the goods movement data it says total goods movement status is completed that means that goods received has been posted so let's go back to the purchase order here so another interesting tab to show to show the integration between the traditional SAP modules is the purchase order history two lines here we got a material document and we've got also um, an invoice receipt so a goods receipt and an invoice receipt and you see over here that the inbound delivery uh, is uh, linked to both these particular documents so goods receipt had uh, taken place first so this is when you actually do goods receipt against the shipping notification that we just looked at and that creates this material document that basically tells you um, that stock has uh, been received in your system and you see financial documents here so have a look at that so when you get goods into stock that triggers a financial transaction and here it is this all happens in the background so when you press goods receipt for an inbound delivery it creates a material document that we looked at but also this financial document at the same time on the background you don't have to do anything so this material document has been created when you do goods receipt for the inbound delivery that you uh, we looked at just a moment ago now the next step is to receiving uh, the receipt of the invoice from the vendor and that's registered in the system as well and that is this document here and that also triggers a financial posting in the system because uh, you need to pay the vendor and in order to register that you get this financial posting there we go so this is all nicely integrated and then you flow from one traditional module to another without really noticing but uh, everything is registered against this purchase order and that's what I wanted to show you today Thanks very much for watching.